my knees. Hey guys, so yes, I am wearing the same shirt as another video and this background's the same, but I decided to film my book haul here just because I was here and I had my books, which is a lot of books. Let's just get started. There we go. Hey, my cutie. So, the first book I got, this is, I didn't think this through, it's gonna be kinda hard. Okay, we'll figure it out. So the first book I got was uh, the original Peter Pan story. Um, I like the original, like, fairy tales. Um, I just think they're fascinating to me. I don't know, I just really like reading those. And I got the book Speak, which I've seen the movie to. Hi! I've seen the movie to this book, and I want to say, I don't think I've read it before, um, but I saw the movie, and it's basically just about this girl who called the police at a party, and so she gets bullied for calling the police, but she actually had a reason to call the police. They're just no one knew that reason so she either has to deal with being bullied or speak the truth hence the title speak then i got this one which is sand dollar summer and it's about this girl whose mom gets in a car accident and it's just kind of her having to cope with it um, I guess, I don't know, it was a dollar, so I got that. Then I got Ella Enchanted. It was on sale, and, you know, like I said, I like reading the originals. So, yeah, I got it. The next book I got was Water for Elephants. I'm sure you guys have seen the movie. It has Robert Pattinson in it. It's about this guy who is in a circus, and he's in love with the horse girl person and the elephant is their little gray hope great gray hope that's what they say in the back and the reason why it's so big and large is because I got the large print because it was cheaper than the regular one so yeah I got the large print and I got um Witch Child, uh, which is about this girl who she it was t it takes place when the Salem witch trials happened, and she basically um, has to run away, um, and it's just kind of her story about how she ran away and having to live with um, um, with keep with hiding her secret. So. Then I got this one, which is called Match, and it kind of takes place in either a futuristic-y kind of world or a, like, um, like a different world, and basically, um, it's a society where the society chooses, they choose who you love, where you work, when you die, so it's kind of, and so she trusts this girl, the main character, Cassia. She trusts her, their choices, but she kind of fell in love with someone else, and so she's, like, making the decision whether she should go against the law or not, so. Can you get, can you stop scratching your butt and get off of me? Okay. So, the last few books I got. As you saw in the last book haul, I got the um, Twilight New Moon, and so this time, I finished that, as I said, so this time I got Eclipse, and I got it on clearance for two bucks. And then, I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's one of the newborn vampires in that book, and it's Brie Tanner. And so I got the short story, the short second life of um, Brie Tanner, so it's about her and like her experience like how riley met her and whatnot okay so excuse the change of hair and the change of clothes and change of makeup i am currently filming another part because the other books i ordered came in and they got some more books in the meantime so yeah let me just get started 
I ordered some of these books um, from this store called, online called Thrift Books, and it was okay. I mean, they were really cheap, but I was at least like expecting them to like kind of be like decent, like you know, writing on them, and some of them were, but still, like I'll show you. Um, first book I got was Click. I was just, I loved the movie when they had it on Netflix and I watched it like all the time and so I got the book. I want to start getting, and I'm really late, I really want to start getting into the Harry Potter series so I got the first book which is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, so yeah, like it kind of has some weird things but at least there's no writing on it. I kind of just got, and this one I got from Half Price Books for a dollar. Uh, I just, I'm a nerd and I like the Hunger Games and they had it on clearance for a dollar, so I bought it. This is the one I was very upset about. Um, this is The Uglies by Scott Westerfield. And as you can see, there is writing all over it. And there's Harry Potter, as you can see. And, and it has the name Emma Robertson, I believe, on the side. So that, whatever, at least the inside doesn't have any, but this was the book I was looking forward to, and it was written on. Breaking Dawn it is the last book, and the last book I need to read in the Twilight Saga. I've read Twilight New Moon, and I just finished Eclipse the other day. So I'm really excited to start reading this. The next book I got at Barnes and Noble for a dollar and it is Crazy Love by David Martin. Okay, the last book I got, which isn't really a reading book, it's actually a test prep book and it is in the GED um, Test 2015 Strategies Practice and Review with two practice tests. Um, I know it kind of sounds bad, I don't know, I'm going to drop out of high school and get my GED just because high school was a bit too tough for me and I know I'm almost done, I only have one more year, I just have my senior year, but I just can't, couldn't do it. So um, I went ahead and picked this up from Barnes & Noble for $22 and I so that was all the books that I got. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please thumbs them up. Um, my other book haul got quite a bit of um, comments, so comment it up. Comment? It's a comment, not comment. Comment. Um, so yeah, comment it up. <laughs> okay, that just sounds steep. Okay, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!